Guys, Canada is set to launch the recognized employer pilot program, which means LMIAs for employers to hire foreign workers will become much faster, easier, simplified. That means more and more people can come to work in Canada. Employers will be finding it easier to get LMIAs for them, provided they follow certain rules eligible for this particular recognized employer pilot program. Guys, we are discussing work permits, LMIAs and this recognized employer pilot program in this video today. So please be sure to watch the video till the end. My name is Sahil. Guys, welcome back once again. My name is Sahil and I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant. I practice in Ontario. My office is in Canada. If you have to get in touch with me, my number is on the screen and the details are there in the description box. More than happy to connect with you. Before we proceed any further, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon because we talk a lot about Canadian immigration. And if you are an aspirant of moving to Canada, then this is the channel that you must be following all the time. So guys, today's video is all about the newly launched or the upcoming launch of the recognized employer pilot program. Guys, Canada is set to launch the REP or the recognized employer pilot program in the month of September 2023. And this particular uh, program is going to make lives of the employers much easy. Under this pilot program, it will be easier for the employers to hire employees internationally or locally, whatever. But still, they will make the process of getting an LMIA much more simplified and faster. Okay, overall, this particular program will run for, uh, you know, a set number of one year up until the end of 2024. And this particular program will also give uh, these employers LMIAs that are valid up to three years. Now, instead of 18 years, these employers will get LMIAs for with a validity of three years. Now, overall, first, let's look at what exactly is an LMIA, a brief introduction, and then we'll talk about what this pilot program is going to do. Guys, historically, if an employer in Canada wants to hire a foreign worker, the employer is supposed to get a positive LMIA from a department called ESDC. The process involved includes an advertisement, um, you know, interviews, shortlisting, and then application to ESDC saying that we were looking for a candidate for these four weeks. We held such interviews, we shortlisted a person, and this is the person we like, we want to roll out a job offer then ESDC would do the assessment and give a decision on the LMIA. If positive, then the employee can go ahead and apply for a work permit. So this is the overall broad overview of how an LMIA and a work permit works. Under the recognized employer program, the whole key objective is to make the life of an employer much faster, easier and simplified. So what they want to do is they want to put together a group of employers who have had a history of demonstrating good compliance under the temporary foreign worker program, which is a TFWP. All those employers who are eligible under a specific set of, you know, eligibility factors will be kept in a particular group. And these people will be given simplified application LMI application process, <laughs> they will have much lesser point of contacts between themselves and the ESDC. So direct applications and direct contact with the ESDC officials will be possible for these employers. Another benefit will be that instead of 18 months validity, these employers will get LMIAs with a validity of overall 36 months. So that's a great benefit just in case if you know, they're not able to find the right candidate, they can take time and get more people. Right. Apart from this, uh, the REP applications are set to close in the year 2024. So September 2024, the REP applications will close. They will start accepting applications in two phases, which I'll just discuss in the, you know, towards the end of this video. Uh, the eligibility uh, criteria includes a rigorous upfront assessment for anybody who wants to apply for this particular, you know, REP set or the, you know, the group and also uh, they should have had issued or uh, they should have received three positive LMIAs in the past five years for certain occupations that belong, uh, you know, to an in shortage, uh, you know, group of designations that has been identified by the COPS. So Canadian Occupational Projection System, any of the designations that have been identified in shortage in that particular COPS. If a person or if an employer has had three LMIAs of the same designation, then 
and obviously they have you know shown good compliance history in the past those employers can be identified as eligible under this particular um, rep program <laughs> and also uh, you know these employers will have to apply for this program and after rigorous upfront assessment they will be given all the benefits of this rep uh, like i said you know simplified processing lesser number of steps easier to reach out to ESGC so direct no intermediaries or lesser number of intermediaries and um, LMI is worth or LMI is valid for 36 months in time frame guys overall I uh, you know the Canadian government says these uh, you know this REP will be uh, laid out in two phases uh, the first uh, phase is uh, beginning in the month of September 2023 and this will start off primarily with the agricultural employers and uh, you know the other set of employers will be able to apply in the month of January 2024 so starting January 2024 overall this REP application the set will close in September 2024 so it will be launched for one year as many employers can apply you know within this particular uh, time frame will be accommodated or can at least apply and you know hope to be selected under the RDP program. This particular news is very good because uh, you know a lot of employers generally struggle with uh, longer processing times of LMIS because uh, one there is a four weeks of uh, you know advertisement period then there is some time that you require for shortlisting and interviews and obviously application then you require or you generally give about four to six weeks or even eight weeks at times for the LMIS to be processed. Uh, sometimes there are uh, you know interviews also involved so which can uh, again take more time. So overall uh, historically we have seen that an LMIA can take up to three months when it comes to processing. So it's not a bad process but still it's time taking and exactly what REP is trying to counter. So I hope a lot of employers will be happy looking at this particular news and if you want to issue more uh, you know LMIS for employees please feel free to get in touch with us uh, please feel free to schedule a consultation we would be more than happy to speak with you once again we wish you all the best and we really hope to see you soon in Canada all the best